Okay, I'm at Cayo Santa Maria, La Bruya, which I think, think is uh, the brothers in Russian, I think, or the friend or something. Anyway, in Spanish rather, Russian fighter, Spanish language here. Right, confusing, yes. So let's get this show on the road, park brake off, spooling up, tow brakes off, going to Forshash 1, just lit up, and Forshash 2, second stage afterburner should light up momentarily. Going to rotate about 150 knots, coming up through 120. Here we go, rotate. Should take off about 170, yep, tap the brakes gear up and flaps up as I go through 200 and I'm just going to leave neutral trim in until I get speed up 250 knots let's release the stick 300 okay still wants a bit of nose up trim which it's got now okay got a climb for me or what these are 300 knots right oh what an idyllic spot to uh, practice things. Let's come back to mill power. Second after burn, lights out, first one's out, we're good. I don't know what that warning is. I'm going to press the reset button. Okay. Right, on, let's uh, we'll go south and come back over the airport. about 2,000 feet, which I'm okay with. Nice easy turn, it's about 3 G's. Just passing waypoint 4 actually, it's a very short route. But a fantastic one for practicing this kind of stuff, take off and landings, etc. It's all flat, nothing to fly into, and it looks spectacular. Now I'm down to a thousand feet, so yep. Yeah, uh, probably less chat, more flying. If that's possible. Okay, got the trim working for me. Sitting on just over 300 knots. Beautiful day, it's 10:58 um, am. Sort now. Uh, still getting the trim sorted out here. There's our resort. Looks very enticing. People having fun in the yachts down there. Looks fantastic. And uh, did I say that was the resort? No, it's not. That was a resort. There's a lot of them here. This is our, our resort coming up, waypoint one. Altitude is all over the place, I'm back down to 500 feet now. Here's our resort. Revealing its true colours, nice. Right, let's get back up to 1500 feet. Going through 1000. Keep the speed up a bit. Probably want to sit around 80%, I think. So I think beyond that it starts to go into afterburner. Unlike most of the western jets I've looked at, they go 100% mill power. This seems to be 80% indicated. Okay, so where are we at now? Uh, uh, we're at uh, 2200 feet, so all over the shop here. Coming up to waypoint 2, and we're just get, going to turn south. Follow this island chain. 
bit of turbulence there. We've got the flaps up. Uh, yep, just checking that. The gears up. Yep. Also checked. Breathtaking. Now I'm going to try to get to 1500 feet. See if that's doable for me. Yes, we're rocketing down now to 1700, 1600. And we're just about to turn right again. This last little island here. Yep, I've blown past. I'm down to 1280. Okay, turning back to the west. the matrix doing its thing there trying to decide which multiverse I'm flying in yeah you got to ride the trim in this which uh, I don't mind I just got to do it right so the airport should be about 10 o'clock so we come across the bottom leg so it's uh, one two three four five legs basically four waypoints and the airport's halfway up the eastern the western leg should be over there somewhere anyway let's try to get from 2400 feet back to 1500 so yeah i got this uh, big when it came out but now six months later I'm finally going to put a little bit of time into trying to learn to fly it to some extent it's all good fun and I'm revisiting my Cuban tour because it seems appropriate Cuba, uh, Caribbean volume 2 there's a whole slew of Cuban flights there and they're pretty pretty comprehensive actually they cover most of the territory of Cuba that's interesting to fly over anyway is the causeway so flying back along that causeway it takes us right to the airport there's a speed come down to 870 feet so what they say aviate navigate then communicate yep so waypoint 4 is going to be where the causeway uh, joins this island as you can see it goes right back to the mainland it's a pretty incredible bridge actually piece of engineering amazing right so let's see if this takes us back to the airport up to 5g there momentarily Altitude still all over the place. So this might be a candidate for uh, flying in autopilot altitude hold level uh, mode. I mean, uh, I'll try that on the next flight. compensate for my poor station keeping skills and I, I can see the airport now 11 o'clock there it is so yep the flight plan worked let's uh, let's go downwind and see if I can land albeit um, pretty heavy with fuel but see how we go also, I'm only doing stage one flaps at this point. See, the causeway continues right past the airport. 
fantastic. Uh, let's make sure I'm on. Yep, heading zero 09. I'm going to dial that in actually. Landing on 27. Dialed in. Now let's, uh, let's come up to about 1500 feet. Right, uh, about 250 knots. I'm going to uh, drop the gear when I'm when I've turned on to final. It's just awesome. So Fifteen hundred feet achieved again. Turned a bit white. Let's try to get a visual. Uh, I think that's the runway there. Yep. Yep. Did turn white. Okay. Throttle back. I pop the speed brake actually. Yep, that's pretty dramatic. Gear down, flaps one. Let's get our head right in the game there. Trim up. So I've got a red line here at 170 knots. Adding power, adding power. We'll keep it around 200 in this approach. And I'll get ready with the brake shoot. It's just down there next to the gear lever. Here we go, back stick. Get the speed up. Oh, dropping too quick. But anyway, we'll, we'll plant it now. Going in, touch down, nose down, brake shoot, hopefully deployed. Yeah, it is. Wow, 120, 180. Let's deploy the Stark Industry drone. Fantastic. Dead stop. And shoot. Jettisoned. Fantastic. Whew. There we go. So, Cayo Santa Maria. Cayo Santa Maria Causeway. Fantastic place to uh, practice basic stuff.